people that are seniors here today, seniors or even first year grad student, would just have been born when that wall came down in 1989. I think we're fortunate to have it here on the Rice campus and I know that the Baker Institute is fortunate to have it and uh, given particularly the role that President Bush and I played at that time in uh, America's foreign policy. Let me see my old photos here. All right, I'm just gonna do one last check. Well, they're restoring the, uh, the segment of the wall there uh, because the graffiti had all faded out. So they're doing it very uh, uh, accurately to just simply retrace it. And that's a very heavy line here. Yeah. With the same colors and the same effect and same emphasis that it had uh, when it was an original, when it was first put up here, which was now about probably 12 to 15 years ago. Well, normally as a conservative, we wouldn't recreate a piece of art like this, but uh, Lenny Bazuko and the, the, the Baker Institute thought, since it had an important message that was verbal and written, that it's important to, to keep that image there. We're just very lightly re-enhancing the graffiti that was there. And all these little masked areas here are so we don't paint over areas that were chipped out later during the taking the wall down or something. So it, you know, it still has that same effect. But uh, like I said, it's not a normal conservation procedure to recreate something like this. But in this case, it, it seems appropriate and they thought it was. One of it says in French at the bottom, uh, salute my friends, salute mes amis down at the very bottom. Now remember, now recall that that graffiti was put on there by East Germans. That's the side of the wall that was in East Germany. The West German side of the wall is bare. Uh, but it was the East Germans themselves who were objecting and, uh, you know, objecting to the fact that that was a wall that fenced freedom out, wouldn't let people leave. You know, if you have, if a country, uh, can't appeal to its people to the extent that they want to stay there and they have to fence them in, it's not much of a country. So that's what the graffiti said. And we're, you know, I, I think it's wonderful that we have this here at Rice University. It's really a, uh, a significant piece of history.